Today, I'm at the Arakan Museum to check out a very special exhibit. Question, who is the wealthiest person ever in history? Nope, it's not Bill Gates. Nah, it's not Jeff Bezos either. It is not John Rockefeller and definitely not Jacob Fugger, as some historians will tell you. You likely never heard of this person, unless of course you live in a country that was heavily influenced by his rule, which would be several African countries with Muslim heritage. Mansa Musa of Mali is the richest person who ever lived in history. Mansa Musa was the ruler of the Malian Empire in the 14th century. He amassed a fortune that made him the wealthiest person who ever lived in history. Mansa Musa acquired most of his wealth from the production and trade of salt and gold. More than half of the world's supply at that time in fact. Today I'm checking out the Caravan of Gold exhibit at the Aga Khan Museum. This exhibit takes us along trade routes crossing West Africa and the Sahara Desert during the time period when Mansa, Mansa Musa ruled Mali. In the 1300s, we know that other parts of the world traded with Africa, but we only know one narrative, which is the dominant narrative. We know about the adventures of the European traders, their wealth, and how their trade influenced life in Europe. However, we don't know much about the other. Very little was told about the traders in other parts of the world. This exhibit, as we walk through, gives a glimpse into life of the other, their stories and wealth, how they created and shaped their own civilization during that time period. It is, it is within this time period we can situate Mansa Musa, who played a crucial role in such trade and empire building by controlling the trade routes around West Africa. Fueling this exchange was West African gold, prized for its purity and use for minting currencies and adorning luxury objects such as jewelry, textiles, pottery, and religious objects. As we walk through this exhibit, that is what you're gonna see. You will see the production of culture through historical artifacts from that time period. This exhibit takes us to a time period of Mansa Musa rule. The exhibit places Africa at the center of a system of trade in the medieval period. It's a lesser known part of the narrative about trade during that period in history. This takes us to a period of time when West Africa was flourishing because it was playing a significant role in a global economy. What you are seeing is some of the items that were traded and how that wealth influenced the production of culture and religion. an amazing exhibit. It shows us what life was like during that time period, but it also shows us the wealth, it also shows us the culture through the, the artifacts that people traded during that time period, such as fabric, pottery, jewelry, 
and different religious artifacts. That's what we really get to see in this exhibit. Musa flourish. The world first witnessed the extent of Mansa Musa wealth in 1324 when he took his pilgrimage to Mecca. The trip was part religious and part publicity. Mansa Musa wanted to show the rest of the region the vast wealth and power of the Mali Empire. Not one to travel on a budget, he brought a caravan stretching as far as the eyes could see. Chroniclers describe an entourage of tens of thousands of soldiers, civilians, and slaves. 500 heralds bearing gold staff and dressed in fine silks, and many camel and horses bearing an abundance of gold bars. Mansa Musa himself rode a black horse adorned in gold. Stopping in many cities, Mansa Musa is said to have spent massive quantities of gold given to the poor, buying souvenirs, and even having mosques built along the way. In particular, his stop in Cairo stood out for his elaborate spending and distribution of gold to the poor. In fact, his spending may have destabilized the region economy, causing mass inflation. This journey reportedly took years. By the time Mansa Musa returned, tales of his amazing wealth had spread to the region. Mali and its king was included in the 1375 Catalan Atlas, one of the most important world maps of medieval Europe. It depicted the king holding a scepter and a glimmering gold nugget. Mansa Musta passed away in 1337. He left his huge amount of wealth to his heir. Not only did he squandered his fortunes within two generations, Tragically, the empire that he built was overturned in civil war and conquered by invading foreign nations. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.